Bill Gowdy checking in. <laughs> a little breezy today, but not too breezy right here. So uh, I come up off the river because uh, it's too windy to be in the boat. So I fished from shore, got some fresh catfish, and uh, got some morel mushrooms. I can't, you know, I, 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 this is one of my favorites. It really is. A catfish and mushrooms in a cast iron skillet on a campfire. So I come down to where I camp a lot of times. So I set the tent up right here. I'm not going to set the tent up right now. I, I'm just going to have a shore lunch. Join me. This is my little area I, I like to come up to, to get in out of the weather, you know, out of the wind and stuff. And I like to camp here. But down here, I, you can see, I don't know, you can see down through them trees, that's the Mississippi River. But between us, between that river, is Highway 96. Yep, so you're going to hear a car or two go by. Yeah, I'm in the country, but, uh, you know, it's a highway. <laughs> And uh, I'm on the other side of it. So, uh, hey, if you hear a car, that's what it's all about. I can't stop them from coming up and down that road. Uh, but uh, I don't know. Can you see? I don't know if you can see the winds blowing down through there. And, uh, it's not so bad right here. It really isn't. But down there, I'll tell you what. <laughs> got some big old rollers. The fish were biting. Ha, let's get to eating. Let's get to cooking, shall we? I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm going to try to point it out. Yeah. Look at the size of that deer print. Yeah, I'm setting up my tripod. Setting up my camera. Yeah, and look at that. Huh? Can you see that? Yeah, Lucy Lou's got to get in the camera. But you can see, you can see the, the back. Man, that is, and, and it goes right on up through there. That's a good sized deer. Ha <laughs> ha! Got to show you something. <laughs> yeah. Let me show you this. Look. Look at that. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to put a link to his channel down below. He sent me this. Said uh, it would be good for every bug out bag and he isn't wrong got a stove got a uh, like a canteen and and uh, I'll, I'll do a whole thing on it later but it was uh, I think it's T Reynolds sent this to me and that is just awesome man oh man it's got fire starting capabilities it's a uh, Pathfinder Pathfinder outdoor gear Yep. <laughs> Man, I'm going to put that to use. I'll, I'll, I'll do a, I'll check that out, but I just wanted to tell you about that. That is just awesome. Oh man, we are looking good. <laughs> hey Lucy Lou. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I turned the camera on. You got kisses for me. Yeah. I'm just a lucky dog. You are such a lucky dog. Are you getting the rabbits? Are you? Are you getting them? Do you see any squirrels? Are you? How about mushrooms? Are you finding any mushrooms? What to tell you? I'm waiting for that fire to get ready and then we'll start cooking. I was going to get the priority straight. What do you think? You want to get on my lap? Or you want to get down? You want to get down? <laughs> I don't. <yeah. laughs> oh, come on, get down, get down. Go on. All right, let's get that priority straight, shall we? Ah, oh, it's been a while. Look at that, will you? <laughs> Look at that. I'm gonna use Mark's opener. Yeah, Evie Crawfish. He made that for me. 
look at that. Huh? Man, oh man. Mm. I got some mowing done this morning. I thought, well, I'm going to catch fish. Ha! And you know, I found some mushrooms. So I got fresh fish. Add fresh mushrooms. And now I'm going to have some pickled asparagus. Yeah. Some Kathy's Kitchen pickled asparagus. Mmm. Man. This is just plain crackers. And I'm sorry, Winello. <laughs> There's 12 carbs in five crackers. I, I, I don't know, there's no sugars or anything like that in here, but it's made with enriched flour, and that's what I'm trying to avoid. But I, I just cannot, and I have not found a replacement, uh, or something that I like. I, I've tried lots of different things on my mushrooms. And um, yeah, you just, I, I, I gotta do it. Uh, and I, I, Since I don't do it very often, I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah, it's going to be a, a high carb meal, <laughs> but guess what? I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy every bite. Man, oh man. Anyway, you grind your crackers up, use rolling pin or do whatever you want, use a food processor, make them like that. And then you dip them in egg. I got the egg in the uh, jar already. All I did was crack them open and and mix it up. Here's my Kathy Kitchen asparagus. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. Oh man. Okay, right, well, I'm hungry for that already. Now on my catfish, now I have found a coating for it. And I, I, I like to use uh, almond uh, meal and uh, I've been grinding up pork rinds and putting in there. Yes, I have. And uh, also uh, some coconut flour. It is excellent. Works out good. Here, let's see here. Here's the catfish. Look at that, huh? Fresh catfish. Can't beat it. I use a wet one. Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. Let me show you the mushrooms. These are all, I wash them in uh, salt water, rinse, and uh, soaked in salt water, and then uh, I dry them real well. So these are all clean and ready to go. So, what I do. I put them in the egg, you know, egg wash. You can just put in several, like that. Let's see, gotta get some pork. Can you see that? Yeah. Yep, get them all eggy. Full egg. And what I'm gonna do with these, I'm just gonna drop them in the bag. A lot of times I put them in a, in a tray by themselves, but uh, today I'm not going to. I'm just going to put them in the bag. So I got them all breaded. Yeah, they all look good. They look real nice. Yeah, looks good. So now I'm going to put that pan on. And I'm, I'm going to melt about a half stick of butter in there to start with. I like to cook those just in butter. This is real butter. It's salted butter. You just let that melt. Yeah, you want to be, uh, you know, you don't want them too hot. Looking good. And you just want to get them crispy, golden brown. And I'll tell you what, one of my favorites. I'm telling you. I look forward to this every year, and I, you know, there just is no substitute to doing it this way. I guarantee you, there's no way around it. You're used to, 
eating them this way, it's just awesome. Oh man, those look good. Golden brown. Now I'm going to add some peanut oil. Looks like that pan's plenty hot. Got to be very careful when you add oil. Hell, over anytime you have oil over open fire, whoo! That's my safety. That's my safety warning for today. And I have a little bit of butter left over. I like to put in. It adds flavor, but it also keeps the oil in check. I have some catfish fillets uh, breaded in here. And as soon as that oil gets hot, well, we'll put them in. That oil's starting to make some noise now. Oh, yeah, look at that. Man. Look. Look at the goodness. Oh, mushrooms. Fresh mushrooms. Fresh catfish, asparagus, pickled asparagus. Oh, let's try this. I can't wait. I turned the camera on and Lucy Lou is right down here. Yeah, she's either wanting some food or she's wanting to jump on my lap. She's not going to get either right now anyway. Look, fresh mushroom picked today. Mm, mm, mm. 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 I, I could only tell you I got catfish right out of that river and I picked mushrooms right on these banks and then I come right up here and start a fire. <laughs> oh. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Look at that, will you? Will you look at the texture? If I could just tell you, oh my. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting right in the smoke of the fire. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Hot. Oh. Temperature hot, not spicy hot. No, it's it's a mild. It's kind of sweet, nutty flavor. Oh, look at this, huh? Mmm, mmm. I love asparagus. <laughs> look at that. Mmm. Wash it. Hmm? Let's wash it down with a ice cold bottle of amber fluid. Mm. Oh, I'm in heaven. <laughs> I'd like to stick around and talk to you guys some more, but you know what? I got a lot of food to eat here. Mmm. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. The link to T. Reynolds is down below. He's the guy that sent me that kit. And I, man, I'm just barely scratching the surface. I just got it. So I, I'm going to research it a little bit more. I'm going to put it to good use and uh, I'll bring you, bring you back on that one. Man, oh man, that's so nice. He said every bug out bag needs it. Huh. Mm. Thank you so much for watching. Mm. I appreciate it. Bill Gowdy out.
Man, they don't get no better than this.